Really cool organization. Their esports team has done a lot of cool stuff for Smash over the past couple years. Um, you know, they supplied a truck at Apex 2015 to carry all the CRTs to the new venue. They Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry, my friend just came I and said hi to me, who I haven't oh. seen in ages. So it was nice to nice to see him. But all right, um, so this might be the last match. Maybe next match. I yeah, there. So we this could yet. be the last set. There might be another set. We don't yeah. know. Comaster versus Big D. Still yeah. a really great set. Um, make sure you have multi Twitch open. Yeah. Uh, with Team exc Chaos. Exclamation mark. Multi in my chat, and you'll get a link to the multi Twitch. Awesome. There you go. All right, but we're going into a Kaka, Big D, Kaka's very own. Just want to take a second to say I'm part of Kaka. <laughs> oh, okay. This, this stream is is a big Kaka thing. Kaka's been running this stream. Myself and T Speeds, both Kaka. Nice, nice. Part of the organization. So running Big the stream. D, sponsored player. Yes, yeah, sponsored player. Uh, so wow. That out of the way. Let's talk about the legendary what is Luigi happening? player. Happening. I did not know you could do these things with Luigi Dice Climbers. Welcome to Con Master. Wow. This is actually really cool. <laughs> I'm just, I'm very excited. Somebody. <laughs> Somebody asked me a few days ago, they're like, dude, why is everyone gushing over Comm Master? Like, what's Comm Master's big deal? And I was like, dude, Comm Master is literally a legend. Yeah, like, you need to, I think you just kind of need to watch him play. Like, look at him play right now. I, Luigi, I feel like Luigi Ice Climber is usually, like, not this high pace, uh, fast pace, not high paced, fast yeah. paced. And, but Comm Master's just kind of going in and he's making it work. He's not getting punished for his approaches. And as I say that, he gets shield grab, yeah. but come to your curse. And I think like he wasn't even shy about getting he's not shy about getting those grabs and see that he goes I know I can grab Popo. I'm going for it. Like you never see that. Oh wow. That's a good down smash. Comaster, did he always play pink oh, Luigi? Uh yes, I believe so. Okay. And look at this man. That was wow. just great what he's doing right here with how he's approaching and how he's pressuring the shield. He's doing it in such a way that he's very unlikely to get punished or shield grabbed out of it. And if he does get that punish, he can just go into a crouch cancel and not say now it's my punish. This, uh, I've noticed, it seems like Luigi's down air is a really, really good move against Ice Climbers. It's uh, great. Um, he's being able to use it a lot more than you would against, I mean, obviously it's a good move in all of his matchups, but the amount that he's using it seems to be a lot more prevalent. Yeah. He's kind of a, he's using it as an approach. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it also does have a, a pretty good chunk of hit stun on it, uh, or shield stun, rather, more than you would expect. Uh, you do have to know the timing of it mm -hmm. to get a proper punish off of it. Well, I'm sure Come Master knows the timing, so... Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, like, even if you go, okay, I'm going to get out of my shield to punish that, the Nair is coming right out Yeah, afterwards. the Nair comes out so quick on Luigi. Oh, wow. <laughs> These wave that, dash forward tilts are amazing. He started his approach just enough that Big Ooh. D wouldn't think that he was coming in right away. Bird, are you watching? Yeah. <laughs> I wish. I don't think. I don't think Bird is. Bird isn't here. I wish he was here. Really unfortunate. I would have loved to see him like Ditto Com Master. That would have been great. That would have been a uh, Luigi Ditto's are fun. They're they're pretty entertaining actually. He's just such a silly character. I I enjoy watching him. Like, and that's a that's a weird one to punish too. I believe uh, to punish the tornado, you have to do a wave dash out of shield. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And look at this, man! Wow. Oh man, love it, love it. So much damage. Just pokes him away with the forward tilt. He's really good at getting rid of Nana, like quickly. Now, look at that! That was wow. fantastic. He baited him to come back onto the stage with that side beat, and then popped up and punished. Look and how you fast can... he gets across the stage. Like Luigi's yeah. wave dash, he's. His and movement is so good. I just, I see absolute confidence in everything that Kamaster is doing. And I, that's, that is undoubtedly one of his greatest assets right now. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, there we go. I think we're we're still alive though, yeah, right? Still alive. Tell him it came unplugged. Okay, so a cord just came unplugged, and we'll get the gameplay back up in a second. Apologies, need to uh, reset the Wii. So, uh, after that hype game one, of Comaster, we need to wait a little bit. I guess. Yeah. 
I mean, it happens. Set ups get unplugged. Some teams, sometimes uh, MACD goes to tournaments. What can I say? I mean, it happens. It's probably somewhere around here. All right, I was asked to move chairs, so I have, I have moved. Um. Is, that the, is that the homebrew channel? Ooh, I heard it. I heard it. HBC. Shoutouts to HBC. Shoutouts to the homebrew channel. Very convenient channel. Uh, shout outs to Wheeze that are <laughs> never had the best firmware in the world. Or the best security. Oh. Just saying, like, oh, actually, like, we, oh, God, we security was actually, like, the worst thing ever. Discount wife, so true. Discount wife, oh, I, I, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Discount wife. Dude, I, I'm from Walmart. Wife is from some other high end store that sends you a lot, sells a lot of different items. I, it's the wife like Whole Foods and I'm like Walmart groceries. There you go. That's my that's my solid comparison. Okay, we have Commaster and Big D back. Gameplay back on. Ready to go back into the set. Commaster up 1-0, showing his proficiency in the Ice Climbers matchup. Very impressive. I did not expect that type of showing, to be honest. Um, I knew Commaster was good, and but being able to use Luigi like that against Ice Climbers is actually pretty incredible to me. So. And, I mean, part of the reason is you just don't see the matchup that often. So, they're jumping right back into it. Already playing game two. Nice forward, forward air. Catches both of them out. Uh, yeah, he's just doing such an excellent job of killing Nana. And then as soon as Dawson is Popo... Um, oh, I switched them already. As soon as Dawson is Popo, uh, he, he can't do much. It's not like the game with Vino where... Um, if Vino was really struggling to kill Dawson's Sopo, Commaster is having no trouble with it at all. Like, he just separates Nana, gets rid of her, and all of a sudden he's going right in on Popo again. Yeah, like I said, like, he, he has confidence in every move he makes yeah. in this matchup. He knows exactly what he's doing. And that's just like, that's a huge reason why he's winning, because he's like, there's Nana, there's not Nana. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, I, I, see, I see the opening, I exploit it, I win. That's just like that, and then, like a lot of players are very shy to do that because they'll be like, "Okay, that's an opening, but but should I go for it?" Yeah, and they're like, "I don't know, I don't know if I can do it." And there's just, no hesitation. Yeah, yeah. Very key. This is a, it's it's a it's a key element of a good player. Yeah, going for, sure. for what you know you can get. Knowing, knowing when you can get it and going in with full confidence. <laughs> that uh, sticky walk though. Oof. Look at that, man. It's pretty incredible. Great, his shield pressure is just great. Wow. Ford, he's making... I, I don't know, he's just covering a lot of the offstage options so well. Yeah, well, I mean, like, uh, Big D will side B on the stage, and then he'll just do this Luigi thing where he jumps into the air, just kind of floats there and starts, like, throwing out all these aerials. Yeah. And just starts covering all the options. He just floats in with them, and the characters are almost on top of each other. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fair. Oh. Nana already gone again. Man, that's going to do it for that stock. Wow, that was such a quick stock. This is not looking too great for Dawson right now. I... I he's going to have to do a lot to beat Commaster. Because, uh, honestly, like, sure, Commaster's only up two stocks to one, but it... It does not feel that way, you know? Like, sometimes the stock differential isn't actually reflective of how dominant one player is over the other. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's t and that's totally true right now. Um, it, it's like it's very clear that Comaster is the better player here. Yeah. But hey, one stock a piece. This is Big D's chance. He's making it work. Uh, I'd still say Comaster has the momentum right now. He's getting rid of Nana again. And it's like it's. Oh. I, I, I feel like Big D, he's slowly, very slowly figuring out what's going on. Yeah. It's just because it's happening to him at such a fast pace that he kind of has to like memorize what has happened to him, think back and go, exactly. oh, okay, it's what did I do adapt. wrong? Yeah, exactly. He's just uh, he's having a tough time adapting to. Ooh, Nana. Kicks him onto his back. Big D. Wow. Looking like he might take this game. That's for the uh, wave dash for tilt. Seems like a really safe option. It's gonna be the other Nana for sure. This is gonna be a, so much harder now. Back right across the stage, so fast. Wow. Charge that down B. Well placed forward tilt. He's gonna go for the side B option. Oh, yeah. Like back onto he just the see w Luigi's so floaty. You can, you can just kind of follow ice climbers off stage. Yeah. Big D kept that one really, really close. Um, you know, he, it, by the way, his performance on the Jigglypuffs earlier on in the tournament, I I definitely know Big D has the ability to handle floaties. Um, and after that last game, I think he's proven that he's adapted more to this matchup. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Like, he has, he has, has adapted quite a bit more. Um, even then, we were giving him credit for it, really. Yeah. And um, like just as I was saying, he was having trouble adapting. He started to adapt more and more. He's kind of getting a getting a flow going now. Yeah. Um, but there's uh, when you have this kind of a gap between uh, skill levels and players, sometimes this thing happens where uh, the lower skilled player will adapt and be like, okay, you know, I'm not I'm not some chump. You can just knock out. Yeah. And then. The higher skill player goes, okay, well, you know, I'll, then, I'll just go to plan B. And then levels it up a bit. Yeah, they, just, they go to plan B and they that level happened, it up. I've seen that happen a lot of times with auto where, like, a lower level player will take a game off Silent Wolf, and then Silent Wolf is like, okay, you know what, it's uh, <laughs> it's time to kick it in gear. And then he proceeds to, like, three stock them. Yeah. So, so like, don't know if that's going to happen here, um, but it seems like that's going to be the trend. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, this is pretty even so far. Big D doesn't have a huge lead right now. I can't say, like, Comaster is kicking it into that mode yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, in fact, it, it doesn't necessarily look like he's he's making that much of a change yeah. uh, that, we, that we were talking about. Like, not, it's not that drastic. Exactly. He is uh, doing a little bit of different stuff in his neutral, but his pressure game is basically remaining the same. Yeah. And Big D is starting to come up with answers for those. Big D also handling the uh, Sopo matchup a little better. Than before, I game one like he wasn't getting anything with Sopo, and then it changed at the end of game two, and now, now he's living a little longer than he was before. Nice combos from Big D. Yeah, bad and jump from Cobb Master gets punished for it. Getting what he can. Oh, <laughs> double, just double down smash. You know, sometimes it works. It's weird. It's a, it's kind of a, a scrubby Luigi thing to do. Where you go, oh man, they're never going to expect this because this is like this is like the level one Luigi thing. So double down smash, get in a little bit of percent there, and then go back to like uh, real thinking. Yeah. It's kind of like the triple forward smash with Marth. Yes. The one oh. you go in the second one, and they. How many people think you're going to do it the third time? Really? I'm not saying you should just start throwing out forward smash with Marth <laughs> all the time, but sometimes it's that just like it's. The dumbest idea will just work. Wow. Okay. That was an interesting way to get rid of Nana. Ooh, oh, nice. See, there we go. That, see, now he's getting more mileage of the Sopo. Yeah. And see, he's like, um, he's starting to like see what his reactions out of shield are going to be, and he's coming up with answers for him. Yeah. So uh, he's definitely adapting better and better every second. Wow. Wow. Uh, down smash. I mean, down air into forward air. Wow. OK. Cleans that stock up. Uh, this is a Dawson definitely has the capacity to do this. Yeah, uh, I I think so too. Um, he he really is a player that constantly surprises everybody with yeah. with his wins. Oh, I wish I, I I'd like to see some of the desync setups he was pulling out earlier. 
especially with the. I like I like to see some wobbling, uh, because yeah. right now I. He pulls nice. it out now and oh. he'll win. Misfire. If he pulls out wobbling right oh, yeah. now, then like this will be the perfect time to pull it out. Yeah. Like okay, I'm down in the set. This is my this is my tournament stock. Yeah. I should probably start wobbling. But it's looking like he, that's not going to be an option. He needs to be able to save Nana. No. It, yep. This is this is where it. It's all on the line right now. The Selpo needs to do something. He that cleaned up the last stock with it, so maybe he can do it right here. It's really great. He's not falling for uh, the shield pressure trick, uh, tricks that Tom Master was routinely doing on him, on him uh, as much anymore. Oh man, get out, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Not up tilt. Just walks away. Looking like Marth over there. Look wow. At that. With the spacing, he's totally he's totally confident. Going, no man, I, I'm gonna do the down air nair jab, and you're not gonna be able to grab me. Your grappling just isn't good enough oh. for that. And that's gonna do it. Awesome. Uh, I you have to give a shout out to Big D after that. Like the game game one was so heavily in Comaster's favor, and then game two, he turned it around. He was keeping it really.